So it looks like it's already all pre-assembled. And look at this thing, guys. It's a piece of artwork. So everything is metal. We got the generator here. Pretty thick, large base on the bottom. Glass tubes, all aluminum build with the brackets and everything. And the flywheel back here also is all metal and quite heavy. So this is what we see underneath. We just got some foam pads. They're not even rubber. This might jump around a bit. But yeah, overall, very nice and solid construction. And we got a pulley here that connects to another one to the generator. And as this spins, it spins the generator. And I guess we can hook up the LED light here. So since I've never had a Sterling engine, I'm not too familiar with it, but I know that once you have this tube on this side heated, and so it builds pressure, there is a little pass through here that exchanges with this other chamber here. And as the pistons go back and forth, and this is what creates the constant movement between both of the pistons as they exchange the heat back and forth. So that's probably a terrible explanation of how this thing works, but in any case, I think the best thing to see here is it being an actual operation. So let's go ahead and grab our little container here. It actually sits right there so we can see how it works. Before we do anything, we do need to put a wick in there. So let's go ahead and thread one of these through the top of the cap. And so the fuel you'll need is alcohol. Unfortunately, it's only 91%. I'm hoping it's gonna work, but I think anything 95 and over is recommended. Now we'll see how this works. In any case, that's about halfway or so. I think that's enough. So let's go ahead, move this out of the way. I'm gonna put the wick in it. And that should draw up the liquid to the top or the alcohol. And we're gonna set it right here, right underneath this glass tube here. Let's see, I guess we'll keep it like this. All right, so after that, we just need a lighter to light it up. Hopefully this will work for us. And sure enough, it does light up. I think it does need to heat up just a bit, but let's go ahead and see if it'll start up. So we're just gonna simply spin this flywheel back here. Okay, it's trying to go, but Let's try it the other way. No, it's definitely this way. There it goes. Well, maybe not hot enough. Let's try again. And away it goes. Wow, it's really quick. But yeah, at this point, we got a running engine just from the flame here. That's really cool. And if I stick this LED in it, and you guys can probably see that the LED is actually an RGB one, so it changes color. So yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to solder that. And it did actually come with two of them, and I'm sure they're both RGB. So because it's generating power, the motor now is kind of slowing down because it's doing work. But nevertheless, it is going and working and producing power. 